Yeah, who got death? You know who got death threats? Michael motherfucking Pence, dog. Free my dog, okay? Unless you're Michael Pence, in which case you're not getting freed, bitch. You're going to prison. Acting is getting worse. Day and night to discover and create the newest. Scientists have been working day and night to discover and create the newest type of guy. The fun reacts are back, folks. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Weirdest type of guy. And that's right, we found him. He just got released. He just got dropped. He's an actor. I have nothing. No one. Yeah. Don't care who's him. He needs to get to show <laughs> Movies, they He better not be shitting on our goat. I just want to point that out one more time. Because, like, he is the king. Okay, this is the goat. I love this guy. They have actors in them, shows, they have actors in them. It's these people that keep acting like some shit's real, but it's not, it's fake. Oh no, a zombie's gonna get me, woo, zombies aren't real. Oh no, my dad is sick, he's gonna puke. No, he's not, he just didn't do that and no one does that. It's disgusting to even suggest that. Just like films and movies, it's a stale art form, but thankfully, we have TikTok, and TikTok is breeding innovation, and the best of the best of this type of stuff can be found on the TikTok account of a guy called Lewis Anderson. He makes uh, actor awareness videos, it says in his bio, so he's raising awareness for acting, I guess. I suck. Dude, he's raising awareness for his dead children. Like, what do you mean? He has, like, a bunch of children, and they all keep dying. This is very 17th century because like, like back then you had a lot of kids because they didn't make it out, right? They died at usually during childbirth or they died uh, before they could get to like, you know, farm rearing age, I guess. And this guy is operating on the same principle. Uh, he also has like a very British monarchy era skull when you think about it, but the real reason why he has so many kids is because he, they just keep dying. They keep dying in the hands of these weird people that keep kidnapping his children and, and trying to kill his kids. I found you a new heart. <laughs> wow. Why is he so wet? Why is he so moist and red, bro? The reflection of the ring light is distorted into two shapes. Wow, Noah's the type of guy who's like, well, I guess actually men should be able to, men should be able to cry on camera, except not like this, which is kind of fucked up. It's just this, it's just this meme. I just need to tell you a few things. I want you always to listen to your mom. The music is so fucking loud you can't hear a word he says. You can't. Putting emotional music to your acting reel is cheating. That's cheating. That's not allowed. You are a liar. But he's not just doing that here. He's actually covering up his whole voice. You can't hear a single thing he says. Because she's your best friend. Your family is so important. Else. If family is so important, why are you constantly killing your children? What's up, dog? What are you doing, big dog? What are you doing here? Oh, nice. Wait, really? Okay, can you let Kaya out so she can hang with Fiona with Fifi dog? Okay, okay, Kaya, chill. Sit. Sit. Kaya. Okay. He's not even interested in you. He just wants to play with Fifi. You're too young for them now. But when the time comes, treat them like princesses. Because that's what they are. Okay, heteronormative alert. Beep, 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 beep. Keep your head up, king. Treat those women like the queens that they are. Because that's what they are. Princesses and queens. <laughs> 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 
Don't smoke. Don't smoke, because then your eyes will start looking like me right now. <laughs> the clip is three minutes straight. The entire thing is motion tracked on his head. And, uh, and I love it. I love it. I think it's good. It is good. <laughs> Every single time I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fiction. Okay, thank God. Jesus. I hate death. You know, when people die, it's so upsetting. So thank you to fiction for allowing this to be possible. I love that he is able to find, in a way that's not dissimilar to Jimmy McGill, like a bunch of other people to join in on the fun. Like he gets to have other people on his little sketches sometimes. And that's my favorite. Cause like, are they his friends? Are they familiar with his content? Did he hire them from, uh, I don't know, film school. How do they feel when they see the final product? Right. I'd do it. It looks fun. Wouldn't you? Absolutely. I would. Oh my God. But that's because I'm a diehard fan. I feel like, like if you're, if you know this guy in the real world and you see his TikToks and he asks you to be a part of it, you're gonna be like, absolutely not. Okay. Don't say me me I can't believe this is what people are watching on TikTok. It's terrible. Excuse me. This is literally the goat of acting. Daniel Day-Lewis called him up to get lessons on how to make his eyes look so fucked up when he's crying. Okay? Daniel Day-Lewis method acts as this man, as the final boss of acting. Okay? Because when you method act as him, all of a sudden you can fill every role with ease. Like, instead of learning the role of, I don't know, an oil baron, right? in the south and then uh learning other roles and like studying them and finding yourself to be this like completely different individual all you need to do is become a method actor and method act as this man therefore you can play every role because he is he has that range <laughs> I think what he's trying to go for there is at the crime scene when someone holds them back, you know, they're trying to get to the body and everyone's like, you can't, do not cross. But the dude was just standing there and he just went up and hugged him. He hit up his nephew to be a part of this sketch and this is take number 50 of him having to stop him from running under the bridge. <sighs> All right, Lewis, you're, no, don't, don't go through. Oh. Somebody help me! Dude, oh my God, I forgot he literally does have a kid. I forgot that he actually has a kid. Do you guys remember the episode where he's at the like the the child's playground and then his kid dies in in the pool, but it's like not a real pool. It's like one of those inflatable pools and it's pretty much impossible to die in one of those things. <laughs> I got can't believe I called it an episode, okay? <laughs> I called it an episode because that's how much of a believer I am in this man's craft. Do you understand? It was it? Oh, yes, episode 34. Yeah, keep joking, dude. Yo, I love you, son. <laughs> what? Why is it? <laughs> Bro, you could have just done another take. You don't have to 30% speed and pitch drop it, man. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yo, I love you, son. Why? Why is he standing at the bottom of the cliff acting like he's about to fall and just spit coming out of his mouth? Dude, the, I, of course his kid's laughing at him. 
if this was a real situation and you were literally your dad was on the cliff and he looked like that you would laugh too you'd be like all right well i guess dad's dying uh, the kiddie pool one? Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's so oh this is just this is just a part of it that's like that's not the full one this is just he used a little piece of that in his supercut of all of his acting this is basically his acting real um oh hashtag awareness by the way this kid's a better actor than him like he very convincingly looks dead here you know what i mean like he's convincingly oh no 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 this is this is actually cinema okay this is actually cinema when he rushes to the kiddie pool and jumps in the middle of it okay and he goes chat you don't see it here but he will actually slide down the slide. Great interview with the terrorists. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry that I had to make you for a brief moment consider that like people that are uh, in countries that the United States is bombing relentlessly are actual real human beings with real dreams and not simply the mindless uh, drone barbarians that you think they are. I know. One day you will be able to actually learn what humanity is actually like. But until then, you know, keep trying. Yeah, who got that? You know who got death threats? Michael motherfucking Pence, dog. Free my dog. Okay. Unless you're Michael Pence, in which case you're not getting freed, bitch. You're going to prison. Um, what do you think of America's soldiers that fought in America's wars overseas, such as in Korea, Iraq, etc.? Do you think they should be treated like heroes or treated in the same way that America treats its foreign adversaries, veterans, and say they're all monsters that participate in war crimes? What do you think of the nuances in the situation? Well, if you know anything about my policy, it is that I am a firm believer in reformation. I'm a firm believer in rehabilitation. And there are plenty of veterans in this community that um, personally were a part of uh, personally a part of wars that America engaged in. And uh, I say, as long as you have remorse in your heart and you work to correct your uh, past mistakes, then that's great, you know? That's how I feel about it. Literally. I think that, you know, I'm not one of those guys that's like super edgy and says like, oh, you know, every single veteran should be killed or whatever the fuck people say. I, I don't have that opinion at all. I have a lot of good buddies who are former vets. Some of the most radical people with the most radical politics I've ever met in my life are veterans. I've had plenty of veterans on this uh, broadcast as well that I've interviewed. Like Mike Preisner is a great example of this. He's a part of PSL. Um, how can you correct your past mistake if you've killed innocent black and brown children though honest question what do you mean i mean it's the same principle behind literally rehabilitation for those who kill people i mean I, i'm a i'm a believer i am a firm believer in rehabilitation that doesn't mean like rehabilitation for some people it means rehabilitation for all yeah Like, you can't just, like, slap a black and brown in front of the murder and go, wow, that, like, like, what do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Except for that cop who killed our brave babbit. Hell yeah, brother, no rehabilitation for him. He needs to go to perma jail. He killed our brave babbit, our brave Ashley rabbit the babbit. Yeah, I mean, guys, guys, folks, I say Medicare for all means for all. It means Medicare for Nazis, too. It means for everybody. You know? 
the principles of universality apply unconditionally. Have you heard of this place where people pretend to be criminals and cops in a fake LA? I have. Medicare for all? More like Medicare for y'all? Hell yeah. Ashley Babbitt, three years sober? That's fucked up. Nothing makes a good action shot quite like five frames per second. <laughs> that was like... But stick it to the man until you get there. What? Hey, impervious Henny. Yes. Reformative justice Henny. Yes. Don't go babbling on about Babbitt, but stick it to the man until you get there. Okay, great. Yeah, famously... Um, famously, I... I um, my politics are very much in line with the American State Department. And that's why so many people come in here to tell me I'm a terrorism supporter. <laughs> a lot of us were tricked into joining too. We were poor. We had no other options. Didn't realize about U.S. foreign policy was when we were 18. Yeah, 100%. I get it. 